Hello everyone, welcome back to TechWider. Today we are going to explore one of the powerful feature of System Manager called Documents and how to run the commands on our EC2 instances with the help of Documents. So Documents are the predefined scripts that specify the steps needed to perform various tasks on our EC2 instances and they allow us to automate complex actions and configuration making management more efficient and the command are designed to execute specific action on our EC2 instances. They enable us to run the scripts, install the software or packages and apply patches and perform a wide range of administrative tasks. Now let us see how it will work in reality. So let's back to our AWS console. We have already created three EC2 instances in our previous classes and put them into the fleet manager if you remember with the help of IAM role creation. So if you are new to this channel, then please watch our previous tutorial how to create the instances and put them into the fleet manager to manage and have control on all instances. Now go to system manager and check our fleets. Now to create the document, we have an option in shared resources as a document. So click on it. Now we have already number of templates which is owned by the Amazon. So today with the help of documents, let us run a web server on our instances. For it, first of all, go to the security group and create an inbound rule of HTTP because we have to access through internet. So let's move to our instance, click on security, click on security ID, go to the inbound rule, click on add rule, select the HTTP, in source select anywhere IPVP and set the rule. Now go back to our EC2 instance, copy the public IP and paste on any browser. So you can see it didn't work because we have not yet installed any web server or you can say Apache server on our instances. But this time install the package of HTTPD with the help of documentation. Now for it, let's go to our system manager again. We have lots of document already as a template provided by the Amazon. But let us create our own documentation. And for it, go to the create document. For the manual creation, click on command or session. In the document detail, put the name. Let me put install Apache. Target type is optional. Let us choose slash AWS EC2 instance. In document type, choose command. So there are two options of JSON format and YML format. We can write our codes in JSON or YML format. But in compare to YML, JSON is a little bit of complex, but YML is a very easy to understand because it's based on key value pair policy. So let me choose YML. We already have our commands. Let me copy and paste it. So as a developer, you can choose the Visual Studio code for write down the codes in a very helping way. Paste all the codes. So as you can see, our course is very simple. We have actually written a command like update the instance, then install the HTTPD and echo the host name, which is actually their IP address. So this code is written for demo purpose, but you can write your own package name to install. Now click on all by me. Now we have a document of install Apache. Go to the left side menu and run this document on all the instances. For it, click on run command under the node management. Now click on run a command. First of all, choose our document. Click on search bar. Select the owner. Then own by me. Select our document. That is install Apache. In command parameter, let's put a message of Welcome to Tech Widen. Now for the target selection, we have three options. Specify instance tags. That's why we already create three groups of tag. Choose instance manually and choose a resource group. So let us choose instance manually and select all the instances. Now move ahead and click on rate control. So the first option is concurrency. So concurrency means if we select one target, then it means it installed all the packages on one instance at a time. 
and after the completion move to the another instance but uh, if i choose 5 or 10 or 15 it means the packages are installed in all the instances at the same time so let me choose one now in error threshold let's choose zero error threshold means if it found any type of error in any instances then it will be stop the task after the failure of task or we can decide with the percentage of targets now go to the output option so we have two options which is enable s3 bucket or enable the cloud watch log so this time let us choose enable the cloud watch log so if you have any log group name then you can put it over there otherwise this is an optional we can also put the cloud watch alarm now click on run after 5 to 6 minutes our command has been run on all the instances successfully there is no any error now click on any instance id there are two options of output and error so if there is any error it will be shown and we can see there is a link of cloudwatch log so you can check it to your log group let us check is our web server installed in the instances or not for it go to our instances select the instance and copy the ip address then go to the browser and paste it so as you can see our echo output is there and we can see our private ip address of our instance let me check other two instances as well so our all instances run perfectly now you can host your websites or applications using the apache on your aws ec2 instance and for the code you can take help from the chat gpt and other ai tools for the code creation and I hope this video is helpful and thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you.